Welcome to the webinar. You have entered as an organizer and may now speak to any other organizers or panelists on the line. When you are ready to begin the presentation, press the Start Broadcast button on the GoToWebinar control panel to allow all attendees to hear you. This system will notify you once you begin your broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey, what's going on? How's everybody doing? Ooh. Hey, what's going on? How's everybody doing? AK in the house. If you guys can hear me and see my screen, just give me a heads up. And basically, this is your time. Uh, we're going to do live Q&A here. I'll stick around until I answer basically all the questions. Um, you guys have to write stuff in the chat box. Hi, Francis. Um, so, yeah, this is – we do this – you know, I, I, I try to um, – <laughs> Can I talk about structured notes? Um, I'll give you an example of one. I'm going to have to do a different webinar on it. Um, but ATR, cool. Yes, we'll do that. Um, okay, so like a structured note is the whole perspectives is about... Um, okay, the whole perspectives is about 30 pages. Um, but this is like one that's kind of similar to what a structure note I get. So I just get them from my, uh, I have a wealth advisor. Um, he's a wealth manager. He manages about 200 million, maybe even 250 now. And he just sends me basically deals. So this is one that traded yesterday. I did not put any money into it. Um, and what this is, is it's a three basket. This is like one of the most common ones. So this is the three basket, SPX, RTY, and NDX. So SPX, RTY, and the NDX. This one pays 12.3%. Um, it's 18 months, and then it's non-callable for six months. So what this does is, as long as none of the three of these on the SPX, RTY, and then NDX goes down, um, goes down 60%. 60% is my barrier. So it doesn't goes down 40%. I'll get my money back on expiration. As long as it goes down 30%, I will get my interest for the quarter, okay? So let's say I put $100,000 in this structure note. In 18 months, as long as it's not down 40%, any three of these, sometimes they're one equity, sometimes there's, there's three. As long as it's not down 40%, I get my money back, okay? That's the first one. Every quarter is an expiration, basically. And as long as it's not down 30%, then I'll get my interest for that quarter. So, you know, best case scenario is it goes down 29% on every marking period. I get all my interest. That expiration, it, the, it goes down 39% and I get my principal back. So I get principal and interest and they are all down 40%. You know, if you put 100,000 in there, down 40%, you just lost $40,000. Um, someone wants to go over ATR. So if you want that tool, uh, you can give us a call um, and Evan's standing by. He can probably help you out. Um, I don't have the template on me, but any questions about any products, you can call Evan at 312-261-5581. Um, so we see here um, on, this is our ATR standard deviation ATR indicator or tool. So this is something that I had custom built and it's not available anywhere else in the world. So basically what it does, if I removed it like this, you're like, okay, well, I'm long Bank of America puts, how low can Bank of America get today? Okay. So what I started to realize is the ATR is not very accurate. Um, what's better than the ATR is the standard deviation ATR. So we come in here, we add this little tool, we double click, we put apply okay. And now what this does is this gives us my ATR on the screen and it gives me my standard deviation ATR. And then it puts these little dots on the line, okay? Dots on the chart. So the first one would be the low of the day plus the ATR, uh, standard deviation ATR. So if there's a new low of the day, I'll make a new point, okay? So here's the low of the day, 36.55. It adds the standard deviation ATR, 53 cents. So we get you right here. The low of the day plus the ATR gets you up here. It also does it from the high of the day. So the high of the day minus the standard deviation ATR would get you here. High of the day minus the ATR would get you to down here. 
So that is the ATR and standard deviation ATR indicator. Um, if you could call Evan up, I'm sure he could give you a deal on that. Uh, next question, AK with spread trades. What do you mean when you say sell double, sell for double unless other 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 blah, 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 other half ride? Okay. So someone says, okay. So I did this thing yesterday in PayPal. In PayPal, I was in the PayPal um, 81, 82 bull call spread. Okay. And I paid 24 cents for this or $24 per one lot. Um, can you get the replay? Yes, I'll send you the replay. So this is the 81, 82 bull call spread. Okay. So we have the 81, 82 bull call spread. I put it on for 24 cents and then I'll have an order to sell half of it at 50 cents. Okay. If I buy for 24, I sell half of it for 50. That's a hundred percent profit. Now I cannot lose on this trade. On Friday, which is expiration, I'll manage the position. Hopefully, it gets above 82. I captured the whole premium on the spread. So I took off half for 100% profit. The other half would be 300% profit. So I net 200% profit. If it goes back down, no harm, no foul. Trade is over. Uh, but, 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 but. Any questions you guys have? This is your time more than uh, mine. You know, like I don't have to do this for you. I'm taking time out of my day. So questions is great. Uh, how do you determine what price to add to a signal on a pullback? For example, DraftKings 13 and a half. What are your basic rules? Okay. Basic rules are simple and easy. If you're a beginner trader, you've never traded before, have a 50% stop loss. Please, for the love of God. Okay. If you're an experienced trader and you like certain signals, what you can do is you can add... 50% down. So in DraftKings, the signal hit at. So DraftKings, the 13 and a half for next week hit at um, 27 cents. So you'd be adding today at 13. Okay, so it kind of looks like this. So let me bring this up. Questions, 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 guys. This is your time more than it is mine. Whoa, got a long question here. It's okay. So let me just get up. Wow, if you just been now. What is going on with the market? Come on. I don't even want to see where match.com is. No, it's not that bad. Okay. Do, 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 do. Well, this loads. Uh, explain earnings trades. I'll go over that. Okay. So, save as. Okay, so a couple questions here. So someone said about adding no position, okay? So these are my cardinal rules. If you're a beginner, and I don't know where you guys are in your trading process. Beginner. Uh, targets are 50% and 100%. Stop loss is 50%. And you, when hit target one, you can move, stop to break even. Okay, so that's beginner. Intermediate, I would not move my stop to break even. And I'll just have the same thing. If you're an expert trader, AK thinks he's an expert trader. Targets are 50% and 100%. And then I would add, we call used to call this reverse scan at 50% down and another 50% down. So let's say I buy 10 at 50 cents. I would then buy, so my targets would be 75 and a buck. Then I buy 20 at a quarter. Those new targets 
And I did this yesterday in Robin Hood at 37 and 50. And then you'd buy 40 at like 10 cents, maybe 12 cents. And those targets are going to be 18 and 24. So this is how you'd average down. Okay. So you're buying the same dollar amount. So you're buying $500, you're buying $500, you're buying $500. But then you're averaging down. Okay, do you think the thought process is sound? Taking each winning trade and putting 20% of the profit back into the next trade. Next trade, put in 125, 50% uh, stop loss, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we just talked about it. If you, So basically what I would do if I was you guys, I would figure out how much I want to risk per trade. If you have a stop loss or not, right? How much am I willing to risk on this trade? So I was actually pretty confident in Disney yesterday. Um, so Disney yesterday, I did $250 of Disney. That's like double my normal earnings trade position because I was pretty confident. You can see I lost $244 in Disney. Um, so you guys determine how much you're willing to risk on a trade. As you make more money, you're going to risk more. And there's nothing wrong with starting like a hundred dollars per trade. So you risk a hundred dollars in a trade, maybe even have a stop loss of 50%. You're only risking $50 per trade. Okay. So that's what I would do. Explain earnings plays with bull call spreads. Um, so usually what I like to do for earnings is it, if you guys know a stock that has earnings tonight, that would help too. I will buy a call spread that is 25% of the spread. So for example, I will buy four call spreads. It doesn't matter the strike. I always try to do this week expiration for 25 cents or $25 per one lot. Then I will sell two at 50. I get my money back and let the others go. Okay. So that's how I trade earnings. Can you go over how to put an OCO bracket order in? Yeah. So OCO bracket order. So let's say in Bank of America, I have some Bank of America puts. I'm in at 42. Let's say I want to have a stop loss. So I only know how to do it on Thinkorswim. Uh, you know, Brian's better than me. He can ask, tell you how to do it on other things. Um, you're going to put OCO bracket order. You right click. So now you have two orders. And let's say I did one and one. I have to make these good to cancel orders. So good to cancel. Go to cancel. And then I'm going to do a stop limit. Let's say I want to use a stop limit of 20. 20. And my target at 60. Now I've properly set up your OCO bracket order. So what this tells me here is I will either get filled at 60 or 20. Whatever happens first. It's going to hit one of them, right? Mathematically has to hit one of them. I don't know which one it hits, but uh, 60 or 20. And then you hit confirm and set. So that is an OCO bracket order. Um, should you be putting using stop limits or market orders when buying calls and puts? If I'm day trading, I'll use market orders and I'll just buy the market. If I'm swing trading, you know, you have a little bit more time and that's when I would be putting limit orders. How do you apply the implied move? Uh, so the implied move is basically, um, you look at the at the money straddle. So let's say Goldman. You can bring up any strike, any expiration. So Goldman's 365. And you look at the at the money straddle, at the money calls, at the money puts. So it's implying a $10 move here in Goldman Sachs between now and the end of the week. So Goldman is implying a $10 move between now and the end of the week. So if we went to SPY and let's say it's 380. We look at the 380 calls, the 380 puts. We add those together. And you get about a $10 move in the S&P 500 futures. Uh, sorry, $10, $10 move in SPY. And 10 point move, 100 point move in the SPX. So that's how you figure out implied movement. What is a butterfly? So a butterfly is a combination of a long call spread and short call spread. So in Disney, I thought it would have good earnings. I was wrong. I bought the Disney this week. 
105 call, 105, 110 call spread. But that one's a little too expensive. So then I sell the 110, 115 call spread. So let's say I did this for like 60 cents or $60 per one lot. What I'll do, I make money, and I was wrong on this trade, between 105.60 and 114.40. And at 110, I make um, like 600%, 700%, 600% profits. Okay. That is a butcher fly. I've been using E-Trade for options trading. There's a 15 minute delay, so therefore I cannot get, uh, I would call them up. So if you're trading real money, you obviously you don't wanna trade on a delay. If you're trading on a SIM account, that might be why, um, but you can call them up and they'll probably put it on. Like think or swim, if you tell them, you know, you're gonna open an account and put money in it, um, they will uh, then uh, basically grant you that. What is the best scanner? Uh, the best scanner, in my opinion, uh, if you're good at day trading, I think the day trade scanner is the best. Um, I've been using 48 hour spike a lot for uh, spread trading. Super options is actually really been good lately. Um, Dollar Club is the worst one. Um, so day trade is probably the best. Option hacker is like the true and true that's been around for a while. And if you like cheaper options, obviously you have Penny Spike and Moonshots. If under a thousand e trade won't do real time. Okay, I learned something. Can you explain uh, SPX settlement? Uh, that's probably something you'd call the exchanges. To be honest, I don't know. Um, I know they have daily expirations now. So these expire. I don't know. My old boss like asked me if I was trading the dailies. So these expire. These expire today. Uh, these must expire tomorrow. I don't. I don't even know how to read these. Let me try to put an SPX. Um, so here's SPX. So they have dailies, and he told me that these are cash settlement. So you can set these settle in cash. I would call exchanges to get more details, guys. To be completely honest, I'm not like hundred percent sure. Uh, but I would call the exchanges to ask more details. Toast. Uh, SPX only be traded by a very experienced trader or they can get killed. Yeah, I don't trade the SPX. He like hit me up. He's like, hey, are you trading the SPX dailies? I'm like, no. You don't be trading the SPX dailies. Mm -mm. Questions, questions, guys. This is your time than it is mine. Live q and Will you have a seminar soon in Dallas? It'd be great to meet you in person. Um, I don't know. Like, uh, as you guys know, I was signed with Agora for a while, Bandon Hill, and they were doing live events. Uh, I've done like, like sometimes when I come into town, I'll I'll like host a happy hour or something like that. So try to meet people. Um, if I join, basically, for me to do it on my own, I just don't get that big of a turnout. But if I join, if I um, um, join with a bigger firm, then I will. So we'll say maybe. AK, I'm new to trading. Uh, what I, what scanner should I buy? Um, I'll go to optionacro.com and uh, look at the different choices. Um, if you're beginning trading, probably Option Hacker is probably the best for you. I don't understand how Goldman Sachs goes up every day. It's unbelievable. So all my profits I give away because Goldman, like I've never, this chart is unbelievable. They had earnings. Here's the earnings. And here's the day after earnings. It's gone up $50 in a straight line. It's had one day where it's down from open and close. That is really unbelievable. Can you slow down and show where you, by pointing with arrow, where you're looking to find the volume ATR high low information? So this is a proprietary based scanner. If you guys, like I said, if you call up uh, our sales number, 
it'll probably give you a good deal. It's not something you can get on Thinkorswim. I custom built this. So I, I had someone custom built it. So I put it in here. So this is bank. So it takes the low of the day. It adds the standard deviation ATR, which every stock is different. It takes the low of the day and it adds the ATR. On the reverse side, if the high is in for the day, it takes the high of the day minus the standard deviation ATR. The high of the day minus the ATR. What is the timing we expect to close different signals? Um, that just kind of depends. Um, I don't think there's any... Uh, um, thank you for taking time of the day, of course. Um, you know, you have your profit targets out. Sometimes they hit in like 10 seconds. Sometimes they take two days. Maybe sometimes they're overnight. There's no rhyme or reason, but um, option hackers are usually longer. So on the on the terms of quickness, uh, day trades the quickest, then then penny spike, then moonshots, then option hacking. I'm an original 1450 lifer. How do I find the video that explains AK's chart with Ichimoku? Wow, I don't know about that. Um, I know we used to sell courses at alphashark.com. Um, so I would say go to alphashark.com forward slash products, figure out which course you want, and then you can just call up and you can get a, just tell them AK sent you and you'll get a great deal. Uh -huh. Goldman Sachs is basically the Fed. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. During day trade, if the price increased but doesn't reach target one and drops to your stop, should you sell it? I'm just so quick with my, my targets on day trades. Like there'll be days where I like I'll just make like yesterday Snapchat did not hit the day trade scanner, but if Snap would have hit, that'd have been a, been a, a great way. Do you get in, you get out, you move on to the next trade. So you get in, you get out, and you move on to the next trade. Like there's almost a hundred people here, guys, and like I can't tell you guys how to trade. Like every single person is different. That's why like we have different triggers in life. We have different. Uh, have you heard of the master indicator by a trader named Lance? Uh, yeah, so Lance used to work for me. Um, he used to run the trading room kind of like Brian does. Um, I don't – so, like, the people that I have, like, work for me, I don't know about their scanners. So, like, I don't know if they're good or not. Um, but, you know, Lance, I know very well, so I trust him. Give us your top trade for today. Uh, it would have been upstart. Would have been upstart. Um, upstart of Bank of America. So if you wanted a long, upstart's working out well. And that one's already up 50% profit. What makes a trade an official signal? Good question. So, you know, it's like I compare trading to so many different things. And one thing I compare it to is like a golf, playing golf, right? And I go to my golf pro, I'm like, why can't I hit the ball 150 yards straight like you? It's like I've been doing it for 20 years every day. And that's how I am like trading. So there's certain signals that, you know, like WBD, I would have probably called as an official signal, but the market was weak today. So I'm looking for a little bit more weakness. Um, so we want to look at stock volume. Have we traded the stock before? Are we bullish or bearish the market? Um, there's just so many different factors to make it an official signal. Do, 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 do. Any questions you guys have, ask them now or forever. Hold your peace. You know what I would really like, guys? If you guys can put in the chat box, like, what you guys want in terms of, you know, like, in a, in a perfect ideal world, like, you'd be happy if AK did this or this. You know, like, what would you do? What would you want? Do you want more day trades? Do you want more coaching? Do you want more courses? Do you want more free giveaways? I'm sure everybody's going to say yes to that. But like what, you know, like I'm here to make everybody a better trader. Um, hopefully you learn and educate yourself. Um, what, what is, what would you guys want to see? If you're like, I, if AK, if I could do one thing, I want you to do this. I'm just adding some signals here. And then I'll read up your things. J blue puts. Seven and a half puts just doubled in value. How is that possible? All right, let me see what we got here. 
Whoa. Coaching, teaching spreads. Okay. Uh, when you call the five minute bar, for example, in Google, you say <clears throat> you long, you purchase the stock. However, last week when you called the five minute bar, it was an option trade, which I got killed on. I took the Tesla calls expired than the work. I have heard you call the five minute bar and I got crushed. How do you determine the five minute bar? So five minute bar was, was created for stock. Um, you buy stock and then you sell it at the end of the day. Okay. So it was created for stock. What you choose to do with it, you're on your own. So I've just been like yesterday, I bought like five shares of Netflix. It went up $3. So I made like 15 bucks. So the c simple and easiest way is to buy stock and then sell it MOC. And when you go into here, let's say you click this and you go to market on close. That's how you can close the order. So you can do market on close. Okay. Um, who has the lowest commissions? I use Thinkorswim. Um, the lowest co commissions is a company called Tradier. They have a business model where um, you get unlimited commissions. It's kind of like the Netflix business model. You pay like, and I don't even know what it is, like $300 a month and you get unlimited commissions. So about $300 a month. Do you normally hold overnight on penny and day trades if you haven't hit? Nope, day trades are day trades. Don't hold overnight on day trades. So do not hold overnight on day trades. Uh, on moonshots and penny spikes, you can hold overnight. Love your educational information and continue learning. Thank you very much, AK. You're welcome. Um, what scanner should I buy? Um, you know, I continue to think that if you're new, if you can day trade well, day, then I would take, um, I cannot believe Goldman Sachs. Like, I'm going to throw up every time I look at this. Um, is everything down two and a half to three dollars today? Um, not everything. <laughs> not everything. Um, love your education. Thank you. Uh, I have a small account. What is the best way to grow it? Um, it's just trading small guys. Okay. Listen to what I say in the room. Listen to the market color I write on the scanners. I mean, I tell you, I basically read and analyze every single trade and I tell you which ones I would take and which ones I didn't. You know, today I've only taken one trade and that was Bank of America. Um, actually, I've took Hood too. Hood's a winner. Um, so today, and what we might do here, guys, is we might do a texting service where you get all the eight, all the trades AK actually puts on. Okay. So I bought these today for 15 or 14, 15, 22 and 30 with a eight cent stop loss. So I took two trades today. I took hood puts and Bank of America puts. So we might do something where you could, you'll be able to get all of AK's personal trades. Um, we're working on that. I can't promise anything, but it's something I really want you guys to have, um, you know, access to what trades I'm putting on with my money. Um, like I bought some eight puts today in hood, I'm up 10 bucks. Do, do. I really like a trade room format as it is now. Please continue to calling out potential great trades from the scanner each morning. Do not change that format. In-depth training is great, but the best part is when the market is slow later in the day. Yeah, we have Brian filling in and later in the day. Um, he does a great job of teaching, coaching, educating you guys. So I hope you enjoy that. Couple more minutes here, guys. Um, I, I, anybody that has any questions, please put it in the chat box. This is your time, guys. This is not my time. I don't, you know, I could be at the gym. I could do anything. Hood, I'm about to hit a target here in Hood. I might cancel the 11 and a half for a penny. It's one penny though, AK. It's 30 bucks. Uh, show us an Excel spreadsheet. 
and we might make this like accessible. Um, I, I'm working on a bunch of things, guys, on the back end. So um, this was actually a tie. So today I bought bank puts and then hood puts. But I've been tracking, um, and I need to go back and track a little bit better. But I want to. I want you guys to have access to all my trades. I think that'd be fun. What is the mindset of a trader versus an investor? Um, so a trader, like you could lose or make 2% of your account in a day. An investor, you're just trying to make, you know, if you can make 10% a year, you're, you're, you feel great, right? Um, so trading is you're going to risk a lot more as a percentage. Investing, you're just trying to make that, you know, I invest, you know, I invest in structured notes. What is the average quantity of the option trades you take? Um, if I'm day trading, I go big. Like if I'm day trading, and I like a signal. Um, I'll do, I'll sling a 200 lot um, pretty quickly. So I'll sling a 200 lot. And then um, if I'm, you know, if I'm um, other trades, I'm, I put on like $100 of risk of trade. A lot of these are like stock positions that I can't control. It's like 800 bucks. Um, do, do, do. What else, if you, the tires say you're taking hood at it, but don't say the date or what time. Yeah, I'll try to work on that. Uh, 200 lot, it depends on the price of the option. Do incorporate candlesticks. Swing trading, yes. Day trading, no. So swing trading, yes. Day trading, no. What is your average quantity? I talked about that. Can we get uh, after hours access to the trade room? No. The trade room shuts off at the end of the day. ARKK. ARKK, those 30 puts working out well. Dude, thank you so much, time. Have a great time in Dallas. You're welcome. Um, I like when you call out high volume and you mention your plan. Cool. Anything else you guys have? Any ideas, suggestions, anything you guys want? Um, put it in the chat box. You know, I value your opinion. I want what you guys want. If you want, I mean, more put options. If you want more calls, if you want more education. I mean, I can do an educational thing like almost every day for you guys. Um, it's just what you want. I'm going to leave it for like two minutes of questions. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to have to get both some food. And then I'm going to the gym. If you have any questions at all, uh, you can just email Evan at alphashark.com. Actually, uh, any questions about your trading style? What's the best scanner for you? Evan at optionhacker.com or call 312-261-5581. Enjoy your workout. Education would be great. Thank you for everything. Um, more calls and puts, more education. Yeah, all you have to do, guys, if you have any questions, uh, Evan's on standby, basically. Uh, he can help you through your trading style and tell you what's um, best for you. I For futures, it's backslash ES. So black, backslash ES. Cool. Everybody have a great day. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys.